Uh, now that we've gone through the 2020 Wave 2 update, just wanted to jump in and show some of the improvements that have been made to the system. So uh, from what's in here, there's actually nothing particularly new, uh, but what we've got is an optimization of how things in the system are working. So if you've ever worked before with the um, ability to create documents from inside a record, you'll know that you have the ability to be able to have word templates uh, and from there once you've uh, chosen which template you want to action um, you'll see it will drop it out into a document now often organizations that we've worked with have said that's great we like the document and we can email that out but what we want to do is have a pdf that we can send so you'll see what that's done is it's grabbed some details from the record um, drop them into the template and you can turn that into a PDF and you can email it but uh, this button here export to PDF there used to be a create PDF button and that would just create a PDF document um, but what they've done is really gone in and streamlined it so you'll see here that uh, Word document that we had a template for gets created and if you have multiple templates you can choose whichever one you like um, and then you get the ability to download it so just like we did with the Word document before uh, email it or save to SharePoint if you save it to SharePoint you do need the SharePoint link activated and it will drop it into the folder that's related to this document um, but the email ones where we really have some extra benefit come from the system so uh, this is the new um, uh, email client that allows you to be able to see the document while you're editing it. Um, so if you need to pull through any additional information, but I'm just going to expand that out because there's some really interesting things that happen here. So first of all, um, you'll see that we actually haven't got any details filled in here, but we do have the attachment. You can go and insert a template. So it will just confirm who you want to send that to and then any templated emails you have um, so say in this case we want to send them a quote but we haven't spoken to them for a while or we've had a chat with them uh, on our chat bot um, they will come up so in this case you'll see here it's showing us dear and it's Southridge video because we're doing this and that's basically who we're sending it to it will show you what data it's going to populate in here so when you apply the template uh, you'll see it's kept that attachment but it's also added in a particular terminology that you want to send out through the email this is good a um, lot less clicks but then we get into the really important stuff so um, if we want to follow this email then we can do a few interesting things here so first of all what it's done is we've got some knowledge about when these guys are open and it's saying it's outside their business hours do we want to delay this end um, so that then gives you the option to say what time you'd like to send it at um, that's really useful but this is the one I like the most you can set a reminder so obviously if you're sending out a proposal or anything like that and you've got a close by date on it um, or you know a particular date you want to follow someone up by you get some conditional choices so if I don't receive a reply by if the email is not opened by a certain time or date or just remind me anyway so if I don't receive a reply by um, if we put that in that's not actually going to create a task until we go past that time frame um, so I'll just remind me anyway and uh, do follow up here um and so i put that in and then we can send that out and basically what you've done there is just in just a few clicks is you've created a pdf you've attached it to an email you've got a template email that you've sent out and you've been able to track whether your client is actually engaging with that email so i'm just going to close this here uh, and refresh the screen and you'll see i have been testing this on this environment so just so you know when you do load a record um, uh, like the one we've just sent um, you you can come in and pop out the email record uh, and when it is followed you'll get this additional box down here which will show you um, the recipient activity so have they opened it have they looked at the attachments have they clicked links and did they reply 
Uh, so that's a very simple set of capabilities that have been really streamlined in a really positive way um, from what I can see in this scenario. And I just wanted to create a video so you could see the kinds of improvements that have come with this 2020 update. Uh, if you have additional questions, I will be looking to make more videos around some of these interesting things uh, and we'll be sending those out uh, in the near future.